Mendoza and Gabby LaRue are back in studio and this time to re-record our legendary hit in Kalakata. We're giving it a 2012 uh, feel and dressing. You'll still recognize the same bass line and everything but we've sprinkled it with some modern synthesizers etc and Mendoza re-delivered it with a lot more energy. <laughs> The reason why we're doing this will be self-explanatory. We've also got some interviews with Mendoza, myself, and Kerwin Eaton, his manager. So, let's go. I asked Mendoza and Gabby about the purpose of re-recording Galakata, and this is what they said. Uh, the purpose that uh, we're recording this, this track again, it's it's a, before it used to be owned by a company called EMI, but now we want to take the ownership of the song, do anything that we like, because this, the song still exists after 12 years. We've done it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Twelve years later, here we are again. This track has crossed over. It's been played in the townships, at the rugby, at Bryce in Babsfontein, Bar Mitzvahs. You know, so it's had such mass appeal over the last 12 years. After all these years, Mendoza and I got together and we started, why don't we redo this? Give it a whole fresh new feel, pump it up, revisit it to our people. Take it across the borders, uh, launch it online, give it a whole new jacket. We even sprinkle a little bit of Afrikaans in it for the rugby lovers. From a business point of view, I feel that there are so many more opportunities for the artist and producer uh, to, to gain from their original creation, you know. At this point, we are discussing many, many business opportunities. So watch this place. Come on, baby. 